Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Mrs B. In today's video, you will see from the title, it is a monthly grocery shopping haul, which if you didn't know, monthly grocery shopping for a family of five is a heck of a lot of food. So I'm going to share with you guys what I bought to hopefully see us through most of the month. Now, in this video, you are not going to see my weekly shop. So a lot of people ask, how how can you monthly grocery shop? Surely milk goes out of date and bread goes out of date pretty quick. What do you do? That doesn't last for a month. Well, you do have options. You could freeze them if you've got a freezer. Most people have a freezer these days. Um, or you can just go once a week or maybe every 10 days and pick up some fresh stuff, which is what we do. So you're not going to see those little kind of fill-in hauls, top-up hauls in this video today. So when I go for those shopping trips, I get bread, not really milk because we don't really drink milk we mostly drink like soy milk and oat milk um so no milk i you might see yogurt well you're not going to see it because you don't get to see that today but there might be yogurt that i also that's when i get all my fresh fruit and veg because obviously that doesn't last a month either have you ever tried to keep blueberries for a month no there's a good reason why you've not so sit back grab something to eat, grab yourself a drink, because this is going to be a long video, sorry, not sorry, and it's got a lot of food in it, and I hope you enjoy. This first haul I have for you guys is from Costco. Here is my Costco haul. I spent £120, and everything is here apart from the toilet roll. <laughs> the toilet roll is already away in the cupboard. So, first up, we got these. These look so cute. I don't tend to buy, like, these little... Let me get one out. Here we go. These little like mini ice creams, they're super cute. Um, I don't tend to buy them, but they were on offer and I'll put the price here. But that kind of worked out as like the price of three tubs of ice cream of Hagen Daz when it was on offer. And the thing is, if there's a whole tub of Hagen Daz, me and Thomas split it, which is really too much ice cream in one go. And I end up feeling a bit sick, but we like don't want to put like a little bit of ice cream back in the freezer. But anyway, these cups come with the Dulce de Leche, Belgian chocolate, cookies and cream, and the strawberry cheesecake. So you got that, you got three boxes of four in each one. I opened it up so you guys could see what they were like, but these look good. And Hagen has ice cream is delicious. So can you go wrong? And then I got a bag of these premium chicken tenders. These are the bee's knees, some frozen mango for smoothies, chicken pakora, vegetable pakora. I still have one veggie pakora left from last month and the haggis one. So I just got one of each and then I got this 16 pot box of Activia. It's not stuff when we buy that often but I don't, we try not to eat too much dairy. <laughs> she says that she buys all the ice cream and all the cheese. <laughs> but yeah, but the kids just kind of like a yogurt. So yeah, we got that. It comes with four vanilla, four strawberry, four raspberry, four peach. And then some of these wraps, these were a three pack of eight. I've not tried these ones before, but they do look nicer than the little ones. So they don't go out of date actually until the 30th of August. So it is a three pack. So that's plenty of wraps for us. I probably should have got two now I'm thinking about it. Ah well, it'll be fine. And then I got this pack of chia batas. So it was a five pack and in each pack you get two. These are so cheap and you can freeze these and then just cook them from frozen. So you don't even need to frost them. They are great. And then a pack of Miller Corner yogurts. The dates weren't great on these, the 2nd of August. So that's like a week away or something. So I didn't want to get two because they wouldn't last. And Head & Shoulders is on offer this month. This is what we use. It's on offer for just over 10 pounds for the two bottles. They're a liter each. We go through about one a month. These kind of come on offer every maybe two or three months I want to say. They, Costco kind of cycles through their things so when you know the cycles you can buy the stuff that you need to last until it goes on offer again. Does that make sense? Like I would never pay full price for these because I know they'll be on offer. So I got two packets of them so that'll last us for like four months. And then a 12 pack of Dove soap. This is my favourite soap and I just prefer it over shower gel because we go through like a bottle of shower gel a week at least. That's a lot of shower gel. So at least this will last us for a couple of months. We'll probably go through about a bar of soap a week. There are five of us in our house and we are currently all showering at home. In case you're like, what? What I mean is nobody's showering at the gym 
or the swimming pool. So everybody's at home. So we go through, we go through a lot of this stuff. Yeah. And then we've got this jigsaw. It is, it also comes with a little book in it. It is a unicorn one. It's got a thousand, a thousand pieces. No, 100. That's not a zero. A thousand pieces and it was 543. I got this for my niece to put by for her Christmas. I got some other bits as well. Um, but yeah, people ask sometimes like, oh, how do you afford to buy stuff for Christmas? Like ask for money tips and stuff. My advice buy stuff throughout the year when you see it. I know she's gonna like this because she's four years old. So, and like we don't tend to like ask, we just like buy presents for them. You know, like we don't say what does she need sort of thing, we just buy fun stuff. <laughs> and that's what uh, Thomas's sister does for our kids, she just buys them fun stuff. Um, or sometimes she gives them vouchers. But yeah, so I know she'll like this. I got her also a little bag from Kath Kidson, it's so cute. Buy stuff and put it by in your cupboard or wherever you keep presents or save just save the money but sometimes it's easier if you're tempted to spend the money it's easier just to buy stuff when you see them on offer at a good price at the back of this it says rp 9.99 but i paid 5.43 for it the kids have some of these we've got the dinosaur one last month for the kids for my kids and it's great, it's, the jigsaw is really good quality. And then a bag of grated mozzarella or pizzas. This is one kilo for 3 99 That's a good price. And then these crackers were on offer. I hate these crackers. Thomas loves them. You got two bags on offer for £3.50. So two bags it is. And then a roast chicken. Can you go to Costco and not get a roast chicken? You can, but you know. <laughs> and then a four pack of these breadsticks. I don't, I don't know how you say that brand, but they look nice. So I got them and then these were on offer. This is some organic pasta. Don't this pasta look fancy? It was on offer, six bags. You can see there's like two of each kind for just over six pounds. I thought it was really good. So you get the Penny ZT Regatti, the Fusilli, uh, I don't know how you say that one, so I'm not gonna say it. So I got two bags of bags of pasta. Um, we go through a couple of bags of pasta a week. So, well, not a week, a month, sorry, not a week. We don't eat that much pasta. Um, so I was thinking this will last us a couple of month, months. And then last thing I got was these large tree, foil trays with lids. These are really good for making like cottage pies, lasagnas, and then putting them in your freezer. I actually save them, like I wash them out and reuse them. So don't worry, they don't, it's not like disposable. I see they say disposable, but I keep them. I keep them and sometimes I bring meals to friends and stuff so they're handy to have. Next haul I have is from Iceland. I just popped into Iceland. Not the one in our town. We've got a couple in our town. No. I went to the one a couple of times over. Much better. Much, much bigger. And this is what I got from there. I spent £21 in Iceland. Not bad. We got some ice lollies now. I appreciate obviously this looks like a lot of ice lollies but first up there's five of us and second of up this is for a month. I told the kids they could pack, pick a pack of ice lollies each. That was a tongue twister. So we got these fruit salad ones, these ones, and these ones were two for three pounds. So I just picked these ones up as well. Otherwise they were two pound each. Then we have some flump ones. I've never seen them before. Then we got some round trees fruit stack. They look cute. And then these ones are just strawberry and cool kiwi. Sounds interesting. Then we got some mini corn cobs. And then I got two of these last month, but I only needed one this month. I only used like four, I think. So I still had some left. So these are just the bird's eye steam fresh bags. And these are just handy for me at lunchtime, like just to put some veg to go in with my lunch. And I got a pack of these Yorkshire puddings. I can make my own Yorkshire puddings, but to be honest, I don't really love doing anything where I have to cook with a lot of oil. Um, and with Yorkshire puddings, you have to obviously put your oil in your muffin tins or your Yorkshire pudding tins and then heat your oil up. I just really don't like that. I had a bad experience. If you do not know, a year, a year and a half, nearly two years ago actually, my oven, my brand new oven caught on fire and I burnt all my hand. Um, that's my scar there. You see that on my knuckle there? There, that's my scar. So it's not actually bad. Um, we had one of those black sheets, you know, like they're like plastic and they go in the bottom. They're oven liners, that's what they're called. And something had dripped on it, some sort of oil and it caught on fire and I was in the house by myself and the oven was on fire and the smoke alarms were going off and the neighbours were all out and I pulled 
the thing out of the oven, the sheet, which was melting and was on fire. Um, and obviously I burnt all my hand and had to go to the hospital and all that. But anyway, yeah, so I really don't like do dealing with things that are quite oily. So these Yorkshire puddings, frozen ones, yes. <laughs> and then some garlic baguettes. Last month I got two, I only went through one, so I only got one this month. You'll be like, you've got one more in your freezer. It's always good to have extras. And then some onion rings. Some of these burgers, these were 10, 10 little burgers for two pounds. They are teeny tiny, like tiny, that size. Um, but yeah, I thought we would give them a try. They look nice. And then these southern fried chips. I, we don't, like we never used to eat a lot of stuff like this, but I make pizza once a week. So we alternate between onion rings, corn and cobs, or possibly chips. They're also good just to throw in the oven and I don't need to peel and chop and parboil or whatever or if Thomas is cooking because Thomas can't really cook if you didn't know that so yeah southern fried ones these sounded nice hash browns these are good for breakfast or breakfast for dinner hash brown fries these are the bee's knees these are where it's at and then these are my favorite ever these onion rings I also like the spicy ones the spicy ones are good and they also do a bacon kind of it's not a ring it's a like a crispy um, by the same company, Golden Cross. And honestly, these are great. And then I got two packets of these Warburton's little baby rolls. Like I always think, I don't know what you would call these, but I remember like having these as a kid when I was little, no? Um, I got two packets, one for the freezer. I thought they would be good with them. And then one, we're gonna have burgers this week. And then that was everything I got from Iceland. I went into Home Bargains because Home Bargains was next door. Picked up two of these gravies. These are so good. It's a powder. You just add water and then heat it up. It is so good. It tastes very similar to KFC. Very similar. So we do like a, a KFC famous bowl. If you don't know what that is, Google it. But we make our own. Um, and I use this gravy and it's so good. And then I did get two packets of these, but I unpack it in the car <laughs> coming home. And I got this other packet for Thomas. And then these little fish and chips, these are just little crackers and they, they don't taste of fish. They're salt and vinegar flavor. Um, I'm just gonna put them in the car, handy to have. And then I picked up a pack of Paper Mate pens. And next I have some bargain shopping hauls for you. It is five past 10. Thomas went to Lidl at like nine o'clock, he went to two different Lidl's and got us our selection of bargains. A lot of people have asked me on Instagram to share the bargains Thomas gets. That's Thomas going back out to the car. He's left one of these minces in the car and you know, you don't want to leave that in the car. So he's about to get it. Poppy, it's okay, come here. So anyway, yes, people ask me on Instagram to share the bargains that Thomas gets because I'd shared a couple of times like Thomas had came back from bargain hunting, look at his bargains, blah, blah, blah. And people wanted to like actually see the bargains. So here we go. So first up we have got this prepackaged pineapple. This isn't something I would normally buy. Um, I think it's quite expensive and like it's a waste of packaging, but 20 pence, great. I'm just gonna put that in the freezer. I actually got a recipe for copycat Dole Whip from Disney World and it needs frozen pineapple. So how perfect. And then next up, he got these sausages, which are 20 pence a packet, and he got five packets. I am gonna put all the stuff in the freezer, so don't worry, it's, it's not gonna waste these go out of date tomorrow. So yeah, I will freeze them. I will use sausages to make just sausages, like sausage and mash, biscuits and gravy, like sausage gravy. Um, you can make sausages into meatballs, you can put them in pasta dishes or pasta bakes. You can do a whole lot with sausages, not just your bog standard sausage sandwich for a breakfast. Then we got these pork minces. These were originally £2.10 and as you can see, 90 pence. And it, we did get four. As I said, Thomas is way out to get the other one from the car. And then we got, Thomas got these ones. These ones look good. These are like the fancy ones. <laughs> these were 90 pence and it's 20 pork chipolatas. So this packet size is almost pretty much two of these packets. These ones are 95% pork, that's really good. These ones are like 72, which is still better than a lot of people buy like Richmond sausages. They're like, they have hardly no meat in them, like less than half of them. I'll put the percentage here, but yeah, not a lot of meat in Richmond sausages. So 72 is better than Richmond ones, but 95 is great. 
and then these were on offer these were part of the weekend deals at Lidl if you don't know they do a deal that starts on a Friday and runs to a Sunday and they do a lot of really good stuff sometimes the deals are good sometimes the deals aren't really reduced that much this week although it was worth buying this weekend was these packets of salamis these are 200 grams a pack and these were 99 pence a packet so Thomas got a mild spicy one and a smoked one and then we got some gammon steaks reduced these were originally one pound 25 and Thomas got them for 87 pence I have seen them cheaper than that before but he got one two three four five and I use these to go in my the eggs, the breakfast eggs, the egg bites. I've got a video on that, I'll put that up there. Freeze them and then defrost them when I need to use them. I also like to use them in like special fried rice or pasta. You can use them in a whole lot of different things. Crisps, these ones were on offer this weekend as well, down to 49 pence I believe. So we got two of the sea salt and balsamic vinegar, one sea salt and crushed black pepper. And then one lightly sea salted. And then finally, I have my Lidl grocery haul. Here is an overview of the Lidl stuff and the Waitrose stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how much Thomas spent because I don't have a receipt and I didn't go, so you yeah, know. So I'm gonna start over here. This is the stuff Thomas got from Waitrose. So this isn't so much like our monthly stuff, this is more our stuff we go, we get weekly. So when Thomas goes, He's been going to Waitrose and he's been quite liking that. Um, he's just been getting this kind of stuff, like the fresh stuff that you can't buy and keep for a month. So although this is this is not for, you know, fresh stuff, <laughs> but we've got some soft scoop vanilla. I actually got a recipe for to make like um, pineapple Dole Whip, um, like Disney World style. So I'm going to try that. And the pineapple, you guys, the pineapple that you guys seen, I put that in the freezer. So I'm hoping to use that because it's quite hard to get frozen pineapple um, at least around here but then we also got some green seedless grapes some scottish strawberries a bag of bananas carrots can you go wrong with carrots and cucumber for kids no some onions some reduced green grapes i think he was thinking open would eat them no <laughs> and then some satsumas some granny smith apples some oh this is a seasonal um apple selection these are from south africa you think they would bring them from these are from south africa as well not like uh what i thought the uk was really good for apples but hey ho maybe maybe not these ones the variety is crips red that is a it's a kind of weird name for an apple but anyway <laughs> then we've got some frozen sweet corn i've not been liking the sweet corn from Little, it's not been my favourite. It tastes funky. I don't know what's going on with it. And then a free um, Waitrose food magazine. And then this is the little stuff. So we've got two bags of frozen blueberries, two of frozen raspberries, some sweet potatoes, some Maris Piper potatoes, and then a box of porridge oats. They are actually for my food storage. I have enough oats. We don't eat a lot of oats. We just normally use it for like, ow for bacon and making energy balls and stuff so we don't tend to go through them that much but these ones are for my food storage as i said and then i got six boxes of this cheesy macaroni if you're across the pond i know i've got a lot of people who watch from america and canada so hey y'all um but this is kind of similar to like craft mac and cheese type thing like a boxed mac and cheese and it comes with like a powder and you add milk and butter and stuff like that that's what that is and then Thomas got six packets of this pasta and sauce. I have two left over from last month, so we got six. And then I got some risotto rice. We're gonna make risotto, funnily enough. Some long grain brown rice, two bags of just plain flour, caster sugar. You can also, I shared this on Instagram, following Instagram a little while ago, um, but you can put this in your blender if you have a blender like this, and you can whiz it about and just turn it into ice and sugar. Did you know that? You can also do it with granulated sugar as well. So there's my top money saving tip because icing sugar is like so expensive compared to caster sugar or granulated sugar. So that's my tip for you. And then I got six cartons of passata, two cartons of eggs. These are just medium Scottish free range eggs. I prefer the organic eggs, but hey ho, I'm not complaining. And then milk wise, we don't really 
drink like a whole lot of milk. Um, I've got loads of soy milk left over, so Thomas got two of these oat milks. And then, <laughs> this looks like a lot, but remember, this is for a month. So, me and Thomas have the crisps that you guys seen in the kind of like bargainy little haul at the start. So, we're going to use them. We have one bag of crisps every weekend. If you notice, I don't buy like any other crisps or like a lot of sweets or snacks or anything like that. Like, I make a lot of stuff myself. Um, but yeah, so the kids have one bag of these to share each weekend. Me and Thomas have one bag to share. So, we've got two of the tortilla chips in Cool Original some salt and vinegar chip sticks and some bacon rashers and then the same for sweets we just share a packet of sweets between us all we don't do like one for us and one for the kids because you know yeah you, you don't need that much so we got apple rings peach rings they're my favorite some of these these are like um skittles and then these henry hippos these are just like percy pigs i did get a lot of chocolate chips these three are going to go in my food storage and these three are going to be used for this month so i got two milk chocolate two dark chocolate and two white chocolate i use these to make cookies and stuff so they are always good and then if you watched last month tom has got the wrong cashews but he got the right ones this time so he got two bags of these little roasted and salted cashews and then one bag of roasted salted peanuts some bleach for the toilet vegetable oil two jars of peanut butter and a lot of peanut butter left over so we did not need it all four tins of baked beans four tins of kidney beans some chorizo for the risotto what else did i get oh and i also you guys won't see it in this haul because it was kind of random it's a bag of frozen broad beans that thomas got from i think morrison's or sainsbury's um it's they're pretty hard to find here as well but that's going to go in the risotto with this should be good some chocolate spread i don't always buy this but this is for sky's birthday it is her birthday really soon and for her birthday buffet she asked for pizza pinwheels but with chocolate spread in them so there we go some clear honey two cartons or, or bottles of barbecue sauce two bottles of lemon juice one of potato waffles i wanted two but they only had one some roast potatoes with goose fat these were the ones i wanted last month if you seen the potato fiasco these are the ones i wanted so two of them eight soft cheeses which seems seems excessive seems excessive but they're four recipes and stuff so you know they'll be gone and then one double cream two of these vitalite dairy free butters butters and then some washing up liquid toothpaste for the kids more toothpaste for the kids scourers some bagels and what we've got here some bread and ooh some donuts Lidl's donuts are great by the way oh and some sour cream pringles they look good <laughs> some things thomas couldn't get he couldn't get lasagna sheets um, i wanted two boxes of them i'm doing like a lasagna roll up and also ketchup and i think I think there was something else but I am not really sure. I also do need beef mince still so if you guys seen, well you will have seen all the stuff at the kind of, I know this is ridiculous right, um, but Thomas has also been getting a lot of like markdown stuff um, and there's said broad beans so I have a lot so these are chicken pieces Thomas got like a month ago. Um, this is sausages and gammon, what else? Chicken, and this is only one of my freezers. I do have another freezer, <laughs> I know. Um, we've got minces, pork mince, and a lamb mince for cottage pie. And uh, we've got some kind of southern fried chicken, one potato waffles, veggies. My fruit drawer is a bit sad. <laughs> but yeah, I do have my other freezer, which is like absolutely chocker but i do need beef mince so i didn't buy it at full price because i'm hoping when thomas goes on his um bargain expeditions he is able to find me some beef mince and then i do have a separate bargain video um which is about 10 minutes long so i'm not going to include that but like we're going to use that this month so i'll make that a separate video you guys will already have seen it um but yeah that's this haul so I hope you enjoyed that video guys. That was a lot of food. That was a lot of stuff. If you did enjoy this, give this video a thumbs up. I'll put a card up here. You guys can check out last month's monthly grocery haul. And yeah, that's about it guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.